welcome to my channel center, Allie Loves Disney. If it's your first time stopping by, hi, my name is Allie. What I thought I'd do today is share with you my Funko Pop collection. And I don't have an extensively large collection. I started off with one Funko Pop and I literally had it in the box for years. And it was taking up a lot of space in the box and I really couldn't appreciate and enjoy it. And I apologize in advance to all of you in the box collectors, <laughs> but I am an out of box display collector. So I'm gonna share with you all the ones I have. So I'm gonna start with my very, very first one and who else, but of course, would it be other than Cinderella? <laughs> so here she is in her blue dress, just absolutely gorgeous with her hair up in a bun. It's got the earrings, the headband. I love this, the way the hair is just wasped up in a bun and how her little dress flares on each side. And then on the bottom, it's got the two little sides of it flared up where you can kind of see like the little slip underneath. And this was literally the very first one that I had in the box, like I said, for years, never took it out. And then I was like, you know what? I can't really appreciate her. So I put her up on a little shelf where I could look at her all the time above my uh, desk. And I just really enjoyed it. So from there on, it spawned others to fall into my collection. The next ones that fell into my collection were actually at the end of last year around this time after Halloween. I found a really good deal and I found two of them on sale. I couldn't find the third one at all. I ended up having to order on eBay and you'll understand which ones and why in a moment here. So the first one of those is Sarah Sanderson and she is just looking fabulous. She has her broom here which is kind of a little loose, it kind of wiggles, but it is attached to her hand fairly well. And she's got this beautiful whitish blonde hair just kind of streaming down. And it almost, it, it has like little ridges in it. It's almost like, I think it's supposed to be like braids. It looks like braids all around her hair. So you can see some of these braids coming down here. So, and then look how sassy she looks with her hand on her hip here. <laughs> so of course, with her, I had to get some others that were in that collection. And the next is gonna be Mary Sanderson. And I love this purple in her hair. She looks so pretty. She's got her cape. She's got the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> she's got the vacuum cleaner here hanging on for dear life. And she almost looks like she's got kind of a braid around in her hair up there as well. Um, but, you know, that dress is really pretty too, even though it's uh, supposed to be a little more like an, it looks kind of like an apron, but it is very pretty. So that is our dear Mary. As you can probably guess, the one who I ended up having to order off eBay because I could not find her in the stores at that time of year was Winifred. And I just love her hair. It's so poofy. And it almost looks like a brain pattern on the outside here but she's just got those lightning bolts of spells coming out of her, <laughs> her hands. And this green uh, dress and cape is just really pretty on her. So I'll show a closer look at all, of all of them at the end. The next one that made it in my collection actually came this year. It was a surprise. It was a birthday gift from one of my dear friends, Disney's bestie and bestie in real life, and that is Heather at the Disney Housewife. And a package arrived at my house, and I was like super, super surprised, and she was so excited for it to arrive and for me to open it, so I had opened it. And I did I did share it in my birthday uh, and slash YouTube anniversary video earlier this year. But in case you didn't see that, here it is. So the first one is the gorgeous Cinderella piece from the 70th anniversary this year. And, or no, that was last year. But um, look at how gorgeous that looks. Oh my gosh, and I just love her in the pink dress. I love the blue dress, but I love the pink dress too. It's got a little bow here in the middle and just like this kind of draped looking um, pattern here. And the bow in her hair, of course, with her hair down, because that's how it was in the movie, but just gorgeous. And with that came this other piece, which hopefully I can fit in the frame. Oh no, one of them came off. Hold please. 
Okay, you have to be really careful with this because uh, it didn't break, but they just, they're, they're three pieces, so it kind of fell apart, so I'm going to hold it up here. But it's the beautiful horse and carriage. Look at how pretty that looks. It literally has all of these pieces that are sticking up on each side of it. The little horses, I'm trying to hold here because I don't want them to fall off. This one's a little crooked because he, he came un unattached, but... <laughs> And look how pretty these little things are coming off the top of their head. And this is a really heavy piece and, you know, hard plastic too. So just beautiful, such a nice surprise. And I absolutely love this. That one horse did not want to stay on there. Okay, these next two uh, you might have seen in my recent Boo Ball video. If you haven't seen that, the Disney Boo Ball, I will link that. It was a box swap and I received this from the amazing Josh at Josh Goes to Disney who just recently hit 1,000 subscribers. Him and I both hit it a week apart. I hit it last Friday. He hit it yesterday, which was Friday, November 6th. So congratulations, Josh, and thank you for this. Um, and this is one of the Funko Pops with Minnie um, for Halloween and she's on her broom and it's almost kind of got like a black and white sort of look to it. It's gray in black and white. And then it has the orange pop of color here with the bow. And then she's sitting on her broom and she's got her eyes closed, kind of just wisping, flying through the air. And I like that it came on this little stand too. So it kind of like can, you know, position her and stage her sitting up in the air. And this one that I got with it was Mickey. And how awesome does he look? He is in his orange cape and he's got his and like this, like it's Count Dracula. And look how adorable is this? His little tail kind of comes out and around the side of his feet here. This is just so cute. I absolutely love this one. And my last Funko Pop is actually not a Disney themed character, but I do know that a lot of people that I've come across in the Disney fandom also like this fandom. And it is none other than Michael J. Fox as Marty McFly, the 1955 version where he goes back in time and he's got his little skateboard here. And I just love this. I love that movie, those, those series of movies, but this one, especially with it being the original one. And I just couldn't pass this up. It was on sale. And so I was like, I have to get the 1955 Marty McFly. <laughs> So that is it for my Funko Pop collection. The only thing I'm missing that I'm going to be putting on my Christmas list for my husband to hopefully pick up for Christmas for me is the Fairy Godmother one from the 70th anniversary. So that's the only one that I'm really looking for. Um, but I, again, I hope you enjoyed seeing these. Let me know which one is your favorite and are, are we twins on any of them? Let me know that as well. So if you haven't taken time to do so, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And stay tuned for a couple little announcements. Thank you for watching, and as always, make it a Disney day. Tune in to Disney YouTubers Chat this Saturday, November 14th at 2 p.m. on my channel, and we have a special guest, Awesome Jossum. Be sure and check out my partner channels, Christie's Corner, The Disney Housewife, and Wrestling with Disney.